Good to see everyone. Uh, Hannah and Joshua, if you can, please turn on your monitor so we can communicate well, uh, spiritually and visibly. Okay. Okay, why don't we bless the people next to you, say, you are the future disciple. You are the future missionary. You are the light of the world. You have the light inside of you. Amen. And who is that light? Who is that light? Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ is the light. Remember, okay? So you are the light. So, first week of November, and who is Jesus Christ? Who is Jesus Christ? Okay? And, and uh, write down this one. Okay? This will be the theme for this month. Okay? Everyone repeat after me. Okay? Knowing Christ accurately. One more time. Knowing Christ accurately is everything. Okay? Knowing Christ accurately is everything. Okay? So write this down, okay? This is the covenant for this month. Um, so uh, one by one, we're going to talk about Christ this week, um, this month. And the first one is this. Christ was here before anything was created. Look at this picture, everyone. Okay, what is this? This is the? This is, <laughs> this, is this the sun or moon? I'm gonna, <laughs> this is the sun, moon, and the stars. And what are these? What are these? Very beautiful birds, right? Flock of birds. And there's ocean, and ocean, there's fishes. And what, what is this? What is this? Whale. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> and the trees and everything was created by God. Okay? See, there is nobody in this world who can create anything. Hmm. But God can create. And this God is inside of us, and God is the creator. So believe that God, who is inside of you, is the creator. Everyone say, God is the creator. So God can recreate your heart. God can recreate your spiritual state. God can recreate your spiritual power to, to uh, defeat the forces of darkness. Everyone say, defeat the forces of darkness. Okay? It's not your fault, remnants. It's not your fault. It's the forces of darkness and the devil that is trying to, you know, deceive you in many different ways. But the thing is, Christ is the creator. Hmm? When did Jesus Christ come? When did he come? Anybody? Anybody knows? When did he come? When did he come? Okay, so what month is this? <laughs> huh? It's not a hard question. <laughs> what month is this? November, right? November. So what year is this? Anybody? In English. 2022. Okay. So, officially, you don't say 2022. It's actually A.D. 2022. You guys know this? A.D.? A.D. is a Latin word. It means in the ear of the Lord. Everyone say, in the ear of the Lord. One more time. In the ear of the Lord. Okay? So, if this year is 2022... It must begin somewhere, right? 2021, 10,000 maybe, 10,022, right? And 22, right? Maybe there's November of 22, right? 
So this year is the beginning. There must be the beginning. And before this beginning of AD, you call this era BC. Okay? Teachers and parents, please be quiet, okay? <laughs> Is there any remnants who know what this means? BC. Before Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Someone said it. You guys all know, okay? Everyone knows. BC means what? Before, be, before, is it before pass or you? Is it, is it before? No, not anyone. Before what? Christ. How meaningful that is, huh? How meaningful that is. So this beginning is when Jesus Everyone say, everyone repeat after me. When Jesus Christ came to us. When Jesus Christ came to us, when he was born in Bethlehem. Hmm? It's the beginning. And there's year 22, year 10,022. And right now is 2000. 22. So his story, the standard, you guys know standard? The most important measurement standard of history is Jesus Christ. And you have Jesus Christ living inside of you. So your life, remnants, your life is history. And you will be history. Bless the people next to you. You are history. Your life is history. Because of Jesus Christ in you. Amen? Remember that. Not because of how you look. Not because of how well you study or how bad you study. Because of Jesus Christ living inside of you. You are the history. Me, as a pastor, not because of what I have, how I well do things, only because of the fact that I am very lacking in many ways. I have some strength in different things. Not that. Only because I have Christ in me. I am a historical being. I am a historical pastor. You are a historical remnant. Bless the people next to you. You are a historical remnant. Amen? So Jesus Christ clearly came to us, right? He came. Hmm? So when did he come? Anybody can answer? When did Jesus Christ come? Something, something years ago. Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe you guys are uh, too tired to uh, do some m mathematics. 2022 years ago, right? He came 2022 years ago. So let's go back to the slide. So he, cl he clearly came, but the thing is, let's go back to the slides. He came 2022 years ago, but knowing Christ accurately is important, right? But what does it mean to know Christ accurately? It means that he came, right? But he was here. Everyone say, he was here. That's what it means to know Christ accurately. He was already here before anything was created. When you look at John chapter 1, verse 1 through 3, it says, there was nothing that was not created through, except through him. So he created everything. Christ is the creator. Oh, great. Let's do that. Christ is the creator. Okay? Remember that. Christ is the creator. Just remember this picture. 
So you have amazing power inside of you. Why? Because of who you are? No, because of who Christ is. Who is Christ? He is the creator. So I'm going to tell this mystery. Call upon the name of Christ, remnants. Hmm? Call upon his name. Everyone say, in the name of Jesus Christ. That itself is very powerful, remnants. I'm giving you, I didn't even tell this, uh, I didn't even tell about this mystery to your older remnants, but I think you guys are more spiritual summit. Hallelujah. Okay, anyways. So, in the name of Jesus Christ, okay, there is a, such a power in his name because he's a creator. So, being a child of God itself is the greatest blessing. Having Christ in you itself is the greatest blessing. You have received all the blessings that you can already. Not because of who you are. Listen to this, remnants, okay? Not because what your parents say you are. Not because your teachers, you know, they compliment you or they sometimes complain about you. Listen to that, but don't listen to it. You understand? Respect them. Respect them, but don't listen to their words. Respect what they say, but don't have it in your heart. Okay? Only have God's word in your heart so that you do not lose of who you are. You, got, you do not lose all the, of, of who you are. You are a being that Christ is inside of you. Very, very, very important, right? So do you want to receive answers to your prayer? Call upon whose name? His name. God will answer your prayer, okay? In the name of Jesus Christ. So let's read this together, everyone. Ready? Go. Christ was here before anything was created. Christ is the creator. Okay? That's number one of, of knowing Christ accurately. Number two, we're, we're just going to go on to number two today. Okay? God became a flesh, a body, and that is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God who came to us. Okay? Repeat after me, everyone. Jesus Christ is God, Jesus Christ is God. Who, came to us. who came to us. When did he come again? When did he come? 2022 years ago. He actually came. Okay? Christmas is coming, right? We are celebrating Christmas because we are celebrating Jesus Christ coming to us. Okay? So Christ became a flesh. Repeat after me. Christ became a flesh, became a flesh. To, die. to die. This is very important. To die. He has to have a body so, it, so that he can die, right? A spirit. A spirit does not die, right? You cannot grab the spirit, but you have to be a body to die. Why did he become a body to die? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? Why did he? Why did Christ? Be, why? Why would God, you know, why in the world he would become a flesh? Yes. To solve our problem of sin, right? Yes, that's true. So, why how did he solve the problem of our sin? He pay, everyone say he paid the price. This is very important. Do you think Christ has any sin to pay? No. Jesus Christ is God, so he has no sin to pay the price. He paid the price of who sin? Our sin. So this is a uh, God becoming a flesh is an incarnation. So repeat after me, okay? Christ is the, re uh, let's try that again. Christ is the incarnated God. Everyone say. <laughs> Christ is the incarnated God. Okay, the religion of Buddhism, they use incarnation too, but it's different, right? Incarnation for Buddhism is people becoming incarnated, right? But gospel is what? God became incarnated and become a flesh to die for us, to become the way. Okay? To become the way. 
Remember that. First thing is, Christ is the creator. Second thing is, Christ is the incarnated God. As you remember that, let's go to today's uh, message. Jesus' prophecies regarding the end of the times. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Okay? Let's read this together, everyone. Ready? And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Everyone say, and then the end will come. Okay? So, remnants, you guys, many people worry about many different things, but people worry about future, right? You know, your parents worry about your future. You know, what if you are sick? You know, how can I pay the tuition for your college? <laughs> it's too early to talk about your college. Many people worry about the future, but Jesus said about the end already. So we live the life of knowing the end already. Okay? Bless the people next to you. You know the end already. Okay? You know the end already. That's a, very, that's a great blessing. We're going to keep it very simple with just two uh, lessons today. Prophecy of destruction of the temple. Jesus said, Jerusalem temple will be destroyed. Right? You know, think about it. Jesus is, in a way, cursing a church. You know? He's saying, this church will be destroyed. Right? So what, it, what does he mean? He means... That anything that is built without knowing Christ will eventually be crumbled. 무엇이든 그리스도를 모르고 막 지은 거, 그리스도 없이 막 지은 거는요 무너지게 돼 있다는 거예요. Okay? Anything that is built without knowing Christ. So that's why knowing Christ, everyone say, knowing Christ is everything. Because if you know Christ and you build up your study, your job, or your prayer, all that will not crumble down. 무너지지 않을 거예요. 그리스도를 알고 하는 기도는 다 응답될 거예요. 그리스도를 알고, knowing Christ and then you worship, and then you listen to message, will all become answers. Knowing Christ is everything. Remember, remember that, okay? Secondly, prophecy about the end times. Why don't we read this together? Because this is the last slide for today's message. Let's read it together, everyone. Many deceptions will happen, but the end will come only when everyone hears the gospel. Okay. I don't know if you guys heard, but many people died in Itaewon, right? Mm, it's a very sad uh, tragedy, right? But as far as I remember, there was a huge earthquake. You guys know earthquake? Huge earthquake in Chile. And everyone, many people, like thousands of people died. And even in Japan, earthquakes happened. You guys know the tsunami? Hmm? Or if earthquakes happen in the ocean, hmm? if there's ocean, right? And earthquake happens and then the, the what is it? the land actually goes down all of a sudden, and this height creates a huge wave, and the wave as tall as like a huge building. It's like, ah, oh, coming, right? And that happened in Indonesia. And thousands, 10,000, like, I think it was like 20,000 people died. Many things will happen, right? These really bad people, who pretend like child of God, they come to church and that they talk about talk bad about pastor, or oh, pastor did this. They talk bad about this elder, or elder did this. And the people leave churches. Many things will happen at the end times. Okay? But remnants, repeat after me. But don't worry. Repeat after me. But don't worry. It's not the end. Okay? Don't worry. Many things happen, but it's not the end. The end will come only when everyone hears the gospel. 
only when everyone in India hears the gospel. On everyone, even like uh, people who live on the streets, when every single person, everyone in Africa, everyone in Vietnam, everyone in the United States, like in a countryside, in a state of Oregon, like I don't know, like <laughs> everyone, Every single person hears the gospel. So how can we have everyone hear the gospel? Of course, it's the work of Holy Spirit. But you guys know that, you guys know YouTube, right? You guys know like this SNS, you know, uh, you know what is it? Instagram and everything, right? All right? Everyone can hear the gospel through The contact-free platform. Everyone say contact-free platform. One more time. Contact-free platform. Through the internet. Okay? So Satan is using the contact-free platform, but God will use the contact-free platform. God will use the contact-free platform like Zoom, contact-free platform like YouTube, God will use all that so every single person in a small village in South Africa can hear the gospel. So remnants, God is preparing you. God is preparing you to be an evangelist through the contact-free platform. There is nothing. You know, people worry a lot. People worry. Oh, oh my God, right? They go, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? There is nothing to worry. Why? Because the end will come only when everyone in the world hears the gospel. So remnants, you guys, maybe you guys think that, oh, you know, I love to worship. I love to hear the message, you know. Wow, it's really great for who? It's really great, great for me, right? You guys may think that, oh, it's great for me or great for my sister, great for my brother, right? It's good for me or my family, right? You guys may think that way, remnants, but God is preparing you. God is preparing you so that this can happen through you. God is preparing you, remnants, so that you can be the evangelist to fulfill this because God will fulfill this through the remnants everyone will hear the gospel through you and through me too bless the people next to you everyone will hear the gospel through us and bless them again so don't worry Okay, if you worry, you can, God cannot bless you so much. God has to stop blessing you and wait for you to stop worrying. You know what I mean? So don't worry. It's not the end. Jesus said it already. It's going to happen. Okay? And the light is inside of you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that you have given us the message where we see many horrible things happening around us. But thank you so much for letting us know the end in advance, that it's not the end, that the end will come only when everyone hears the gospel. May you bless the remnants to know Christ accurately. Bless all the weekly darakbangs and ministries so that remnants can realize about Christ correctly so that they can have that faith and assurance that Christ, the Creator, Christ, the God is inside of them so that they can see the future in advance that 
everything that is built without knowing Christ will be crumbled down. So all of that that you will use and we will use to let everyone hear the gospel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.